Lake Norman traffic, seaplane 935, departing 32, Lake Norman. Full throttle. Everything is in the green. Airspeed's alive. Full power. Five. Lake Norman traffic, seat plan, 9 to 3, pop, uh, left crosswind, 3 2, departing, Lake Norman. Good evening, everybody. As you can see, I am missing something I'm kind of used to having here. I was giving an insurance check out to a guy that uh, just got involved in a, on a 58 Baron over the weekend. And as I left the airport and got home, I realized I was missing something. <laughs> so after a somewhat frantic search of the guy's car, my car, called the FBO, it, we did a search, or the, uh, the FBO went in and took a look at the airplane, and they found my iPad hiding in the back of the airplane. Anyway, so I am trying to race the sun right now to get out to uh, Davidson County to go and get the, uh, uh, to go and get my iPad. I've had this airplane for, uh, well, like just about a year now, and I'm, I'm pretty darn comfortable with it. And so I figured at this point it would be long enough to uh, having this airplane that I could probably get a, a fair analysis of you know, the performance and how it flies and have little tips and tricks that I've learned as I've uh, as I've as I've gotten to use uh, gotten used to flying this thing over the last uh, over, the, over the last year. So I'm coming up on 3,000 feet. Let me just get my altitude here. All right, so I'm leveling off at 3,000 feet tonight, and that's plenty of assigned altitude for the uh, for the little trip we're doing today. And I'm gonna set myself up in cruise, 24-24, which is supposedly 75% power. I'm leaned out doing uh, a little over 10, 10 and a half gallons an hour right now. I'm down, I'm pretty low right now. And the indicated airspeed is 100 and 120 miles an hour indicated, so not a, not a bad way to, to cruise along. Now, one of the things that's interesting about this airplane is that it has got some really peculiar uh, turning tendencies and so forth. So, when you're flying this thing, it's a really rudder-heavy airplane. It's not like a Cessna or a Bonanza or, you know, anything else. When you go to fly the airplane, if you want to turn left, you need to lead with your rudders. If you want to turn right, you need to lead with your rudders. Because if you don't, the plane is going to have adverse yawn. It's going to turn the wrong direction. So let's just say I'm not going to use my, my feet, and I just want to turn the airplane. As I turn the plane to the left, notice how the nose just skews to the right, and then I slop and fall all the way around the turn. Right? Same thing goes if I want to come back to the right. The nose just slews the other direction. And so you've really got to lead and leg with the runners if you actually want to go the right direction with your uh, uh, where you're trying to get to. Now the second thing about this airplane is that this thing has you know, opposite pitch tendencies. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, pull the power back. In a normal airplane, when you pull the power back, the nose drops. In this case, when I pull the power back, the nose pitches way up on me. And if I add power, the nose drops crazy. Let's see how this thing handles in a slow flight situation. So we're going to slow her down just for a minute here. I'm in my wide arms. I'm going to do gear down. Still pump on. And we're going to drop the flaps. 
And we're going to get down to slow flight. We're going to slow down to about 60 miles an hour here for slow flight. And I'm going to level off at 60. Going in like every other airplane. Pitch controls my airspeed. Power controls my altitude. So how does she handle it in slow flight? Well, let's just do a couple of little turns here. I'm going to lead with the rudder and opposite controls like crazy. We'll come back the other way. It's just a ton, a ton, a ton of correction in the opposite direction. Once you know that you're giving it control inputs, it's fine. Then you just have to get used to it. Well, what does an approach to landing stall look like in one of these things? Well, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go ahead and to pick out a, a, a spot on the horizon out here. Gears down, flaps are down. Extra ridge prop is forward. All right, we're going to bring our power to idle. We're going to drop our nose momentarily. All right, so there's 60. Again, i got to push over a little bit because the nose climbs and I drop power. All right, we're going to start pitching up. Pitch. That was it. I have to be careful with your application of power. Unlike a 172 or a whatever, when you go to add power to climb out of it, you got to go partial power and then full power because remember that hard nose down attitude. I bring in our gear up. Gears up, flaps are down, we're going to set up for a takeoff stall. Now we're set for 70. Just going to pitch up, we're going to see how it stalls. I can't get it to stall, it will not stall. Look at this, in a power on stall, it's just sitting there. I couldn't even get it to break, it just sat there and hovered. So, not bad. I'll go and bring our flaps up. And we're gonna get ready to head on into uh get ready to head on in over to Davidson County. Alright. Let's see if we can find the airport now. That's the highway. Oh there it is right there. Davidson County traffic, seaplane 27903 Papa is about uh, five miles to the west to be setting up for left traffic, runway six, Davidson. And this is going to be a quick, quick jump into the pattern here since uh, these guys close at 8 o'clock. I hope I'd be there before they close. So uh, we're going to make a quick run through the pattern. All right, before landing checklist, this is the land landing. Still pump on. Our gear range. Gear coming down. Gear is down, green light. Flaps coming in. Texas Ridge, prop is going forward. Gas undercarriage. Extra prop, seat belts. Davidson County traffic, seaplane 93, pop 11, base 6. Davidson. Alright, back in the foot. Red, blue, green. Collapse down, commit to land. Uh, to Lake Norman. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time.